So I also have a concern about spending during the tough economic times, and I heard something about Dublin buying a house, Dublin schools. Okay, well, I'm guessing that's the uh, old preschool that was next to central office, maybe, uh, because we've, we've got some questions. Of, is that the, the building you're talking yeah, about? That's house? Yeah, that's um, Well, in a nutshell, that was uh, a preschool for many years that had been closed, and uh, the banks owned that property in that building. Uh, we took a look at it initially, put a very low bid in, uh, didn't get the building initially. The banks continued to negotiate and brought the price way down. Uh, we did purchase that house uh, because the infrastructure and the network of the house itself was in good shape. Um, our own staff went over, really fixed that up, and um, we had some vendors that contributed and donated some um, equipment. So basically what we have now is an opportunity to use that um, tech building, I guess I would call it, uh, to shoot classes from, blended learning classes from that site out to all three high schools at one time. So the example I give you, right now we're running Chinese. Uh, we've got one teacher teaching Chinese from that building, and thanks to technology, we can shoot that out to all three of our high schools. Uh, and again, you can see the savings of dollars versus three teachers going to that uh, building and we're, or not being able to offer that in one of our schools. So tell me a little bit about more what blended learning is, because I don't sure. know what that is exactly. Well, two things came together. One is, um, where did the money come from to buy the house, which, again, we, we got, you know, it, was, it wasn't in great condition, so we got a great price. But uh, thanks to Senator Hughes, he drove a piece of legislation um, that allowed districts like ours that are excellent with distinction to actually get, get a reward or a bonus. So we got $17 per student, so a little under a quarter million dollars, which purchased the house in, in entirety. Um, and then with that, again, our guys, you know, fixed it up and, and cleaned it up as it, it needed a, a lot of that. Um, the other thing and piece of legislation that went through was Senate Bill 316 that added blended learning language, which means uh, no longer does a student have to sit in class every single day um, for an hour every day to get credit. You may be at a different pace and part of the class is gonna be seat time, listening to the instructor, but most of the time, and the blended part of that comes online when those students can, can access their work at home. Um, and just like now, we have a student that may only see their teacher uh, actually in person one time a week. But again, they're keeping up online. They're seeing their instructor. They're able to dialogue back and forth in regards to that communication. That's the future. And um, just like everything else, Dublin's going to be out in front. We already have at least four school districts that have contacted us. We have seven classes ready to go. And uh, they can participate too, but they'll pay a fee uh, to be able to use our, our curriculum and our teachers. All right, thanks.